the one thing that you probably know is besides seeing Coach Henry and I for the same time, like you do every week, is the rubbish that's behind us. Let's go ahead and take a look at this and let's figure out what exactly is going on. Coach Henry, if you come out to the stadium, you know something is different, what is it? Right, what we've done, like we talked about a couple of weeks ago, is we've torn down the old press boxes on top of the foundation over here, and we're working on getting that rebuilt. We should get this stuff cleared out early next week. Uh, got our parts being ordered, so we'll probably start construction on this pretty soon, which I know is going to make you happy. Very give happy. You a little new, give you a little home uh, versus having the tent right here behind home plate. Now, the one thing that, that does come up with this that you and I have been discussing behind the scenes is when we get a press box established, that's when you and I are going to start working together right. to try and start doing video streaming. Because mm -hmm. when we have a home, we can put somewhere to put our equipment, put our cameras. So all this will work out perfectly in the next, well, hopefully year. Right. Everything will work out time-wise. Now let's talk some baseball. All right. Offensively, your team, one through eight, has really been setting the tone of the conference, I feel like. You guys into ski. Right. One through eight, your team is hitting over 280 combined. You have, I think, five guys hitting over 330 right now. This offense has really been clicking lately. Like, what is it about this offense that makes it special and has been staying on such a positive note? One of the things we talk about is hitting, usually like anything else in athletics, is contagious. And with our guys, they're really feeding off of each other. And they're really buying into the team first approach. Our guys understand how to hit as a ball club, which means things like when you get a runner at second base with nobody out, they're good at being able to hit the baseball the other way, or hit the baseball to the right side, and be able to move the runner to third, and the next guy gets a sack fly or an RBI. And those things, you know, they add up in a lot more than just simply batting average. They add up in run scored, they add up in quality ABs, uh, you know, they add up in wins for us, and we swing the bat well like we did this weekend against Tuskegee. And you look at the middle of our lineup and you look at guys like Cam Starks and Jay Pillard, and especially Greg Alexander, really swinging it well right now, and just feeding off each other. It's a great approach, and it's great to see these guys coming together offensively. You mentioned Greg Alexander. Right now, Greg's hitting 351, leading the team, leads team in home runs. Cameron Starks had a big RBI single that drove in the winning run against Tuskegee. Right. Jay Poulard, for the first, I think, six weeks of the season, led the team in batting average. That is a very lethal, like, four, five, and six, and I mentioned Brand Story hit in the, th in the three hole. Right. I mean, that is really lethal right there. Mm -hmm. So when you have that type of when you have that type of lineup, how important is it for you guys hitting one and two, seven and eight? Right. Well, if you look at uh, what Eli Collins and Justin Stinson are doing in the one, two spots in the lineup, they're getting on base. They're setting the table. Eli's great at getting on base. He's got over a 420 on base percentage. Justin Stinson does a great job moving the ball around the field. Plus, he's swinging it real well, too. It's not just him bunting or you know, pushing the ball to the right side, but he's moving the ball around the field as well. And then you get down to the seven and eight spots in the lineup. You've got Artie Santone and Russ uh, Sims who get great RBI opportunities those guys in front of them. It's just It's been great to watch just seeing those guys feed off of each other like that. Now, we're coming off a three-game series against Tuskegee. Right. You guys went 2-1. and one. Great way to really get the, the conference matchups going. Mm -hmm. You're going on your second road series of conference play this weekend. You go to LeMoyne Owen. Right. What does this series mean for you guys? Well, I mean, it, it means as much as any other as far as where we are in the standings. You know, all the games count the same and everything. But it's big for us to play well on the road. Lemoyne Owen is very dangerous. Had a couple of close games with Spring Hill, who's been very, very good in this conference since they joined a couple of years ago. And, uh, you know, Lemoyne Owen is a very, very capable ball club. We've got to play well. We've got to, um, you know, look beyond our own personal goals and, again, continue to take a team approach. Hopefully Josh Dunn leads us on the way in the first game on Saturday. And, you know, hopefully we ride that like we did this past we can get Tuskegee to a series win this weekend. Make sure you keep on Twitter at KYSU Baseball for updates throughout the weekend of how the Thoroughbreds take on the Magicians down in Memphis, Tennessee. Next week, we're going to give you a different vantage point of baseball that has not been done before here at KSU. Looking forward to debuting that. For Coach Rob Henry, I'm Eric Matthews, the Thoroughbred Sports Network.